Okay, Potter's Journal, what is going on in the studio today? Okay, this is a subscribers only video. I'm just going to run through the studio and see what's happened. I think I pointed out on this um, new used kiln about the top being just a fiber um, board and then insulation inside and how it dents. Um, and okay, this is nothing <laughs> like LB Ceramics saga of the kiln if you've been following that, but the bottom is the same, and it split up through the middle, and the posts went through the bottom. For me, it was an easy fix. I just put a coil down and laid the shelf, and I will check to make sure that the bottom underneath is secured. And another thing to watch, it doesn't have the hard arm. It has a chain link to hold the lid, so if you bump the lid, it can go slamming down. And okay, picking up on the comments, aloha. I think um, it was what happened to the swipe to the slip trails and the swipes. How did they come out? I only did a few because I'm not completely happy. So until I get the glazes worked out, I had put some aside. And okay, on the first time I did this graffito with the traditional Pennsylvania stuff, it came out perfect with the glaze, smooth and even, and then so I did my own pieces. And okay, Sheila, if you want to compare some more notes, get me an email, but maybe we can see that here. The second time round, there are these little bubbles seemingly suspended in the glaze. Is this what you've got? Um, her thoughts were that uh, it was the way the glaze was mixed, and I may have done something fairly similar. Okay, and there will be no editing today, but this is just between you and me, subscribers only. I finally got rid of the organic apples. They were a job you threw away more than you used, and I did make apple butter for the first time. And then I went out and I got some good apples that you could actually eat the whole thing. Okay, let's get down here. I reclaimed some clay in a couple videos past and wrapped the moist stuff in um, polyester fabric and then put it down on a big cement board. And this is a lot of clay. This is 300 pounds of clay. Um, and it right now is in perfect condition to wedge. I won't have time for that, so I am going to get this in a bag before it's too late. Um, I'm going to have to say, I think this was a brilliant idea for reclaiming clay, large amounts, or, you know, for a large home studio, um, or, you know, production, even, yeah, production potter. I make about 700 pieces a year, so I do want to present that again in a full-length video. Getting ready for winter here with the firewood. And, okay, my last video, 40 comments, extremely lively, with the first of the Potter's Beer, in a sense, reviews. Well, there is a multi-pack, so I was hoping to do that again soon, but a little medical blip, so we're going to put that aside, as we are with the Cardew Cider Jugs. I don't even have time to put a handle on this thing, so I'm going to cover it up really good, and we will get back to that, too. I started trying to make his jugs, but I think I will, in the end, just use that as a starting point and make my own. Um, and here's where I put away, let's see if we can get in on this, the um, slip trails and the swipes. Put a lot of these aside. I don't have access to a wood kiln, but it just seems that they seem to demand it, or a salt firing, or if I could get the electric uh, glazes to come out perfect in my kiln. So I did put some of those aside, they're back here, um, and that's my clay pipe storage that they're sitting on. I didn't even fire the pieces I made this summer, that um, they're still here too. I can make this stuff faster than I can use it. And okay, this is what's going on in the studio now. My wheel is 
covered under crates of greens. Okay, there will be needles here for I don't know how long. I will be making roughly about 300 Christmas wreaths the, um, on these metal frame rings. The boxes of clay have been put away and the new shipment is from Kelco Industries and the rings to make the wreaths. So I will be happy um, yeah, to see if you've got want to talk clay in the comments. Okay, so I am going to be busy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There was um, there was about fifteen of these things here, and they are big. They're on fifteen-inch frames. I will put up. A, a video on making wreaths that I've got put together. Um, I um, so in addition to taking a break um, from videos from that, also I got a Lyme's disease diagnosis, and on top of that we got a Bell's palsy diagnosis. So I'm paralyzed on one side of my face. That can be um, for you know several months or a year in most cases. Um, and if nothing else, okay, I may become one of my plates. How about that? And the important thing is to own it. So I'm doing therapy and, okay, just finishing up with some medication. Um, but I did want to get a video up because it seems that 2020, reading um, the comments on my channel and other channels that um, a lot of potters do seem to be isolated and um, separate from the world and not knowing what to do with their pots and that this has become important and actually okay I've enjoyed it too the last one with the 40 comments really got me um, I am doing a farm market in November not after Thanksgiving, I'll be isolated again, except for people who come here to buy a tree, that I'll be selling the wreaths. Um, most people, I set a booth up to keep people at a distance. And I did take some pottery and um, had some, for the first three weeks in November, and had a nice response from that. So, um, okay, I think that's it back and um, see what happens in the studio next week. I may have two travel videos as well that do have ceramics in them and maybe just a couple updates. Okay.